All right, guys. Well, we had a sweet video planned, one that you guys asked for a lot, going over our personal like go-to rifles, ARs specifically. And the unfortunate happened, and now we're here fixing this forerunner on the side of the road after a ball joint incident. So this is just now, this is the teaser video. We'll film it at a future date. <laughs> couple days. Give us a couple days. All right, tell us what we did. So we used a ratchet strap to pull the control arm back down to put it into that upper ball joint on the knuckle. And now we just need to figure out how to hold that for now. Yeah, we'll look at it. And then when we picked it up, I was like, did you check that? They're like, yeah, everything's good. Yeah. Everything was not yeah. good. Yeah, everything. We got big zip ties Thanks though. Really the only thing I'm worried about with the zip ties is the whole knuckle turns. Mm. Situation update. We, uh, we got a lot going on in here. And personally, I'm very proud of Sawyer for this, this fine job that he Where's has done. I think we're good. I think yeah, we're good. Dude, let's just go up. Go up to the top. Yeah. Not bad. This is working. <laughs> it's turning. It's just a matter of it'll hold or not. Thoughts and prayers in the comment <laughs> section. Yeah, please. I mean, <laughs> we'll be down by the time this gets posted anyway, but it's still appreciated. Yeah. Man, look at this forearm, dude. Now, how holding. far do you think we've made it so far? at least a mile yeah holding up oh yeah there you go we're doing it we're doing it he's doing it i'm not he, doing anything yeah i really didn't do much I just had to yeah the zip the zip ties on the strap were a lifesaver so yep thank you miles shout out miles eagle scout from california well, that's my a, mom didn't do it for me that's a real eagle I scout did it. yeah <laughs> It's bear country. Look at that. So we made it back down to the trailhead where a wrecker will be a lot easier to access it. Because we could probably make it home. Like back to my house is probably what, like 15 miles through the canyon, but then to the dealership is probably at least 20 to 25 miles to the dealership. And I don't really want to drive it because I don't know if the tie rod got bent. So it'll wear my tires weird if I put another 25 miles on it. Yeah, like I, I turned a little bit and it just went and just kind of pushed me into the side and luckily I stopped before the car like completely fell over and just laid that tire down flat because then the lower control arm would have been completely toast and that would have just foobarred everything. We were lucky that we redneck rigged and did a little self recovery because Miles had some zip ties and tie rods and luckily the bottle jack worked because I thought we weren't going to be going to be able to lift it up high enough to push the tire back in to slide that ball joint back onto the upper control arm but best case scenario I'm sure we'll laugh about this tomorrow <laughs> that <laughs> sucks so right now yeah. we made it back to civilization barely yep barely look at that Look how good that looks. I think it's fixed. I, th I think you leave it like this, honestly. It's probably stronger than the original ball joint. Honestly, it probably will last longer than the original ball joint. <laughs> so this, this is the time where I sell this and go get an 80 series. So I don't have to deal with ball joints anymore. I can just have a bulletproof solid axle. I don't know, man. Those zip ties look awesome. Those are some beefy zip ties. Tier one, you don't need nice zip ties. Those are the kind of zip ties you assassinate someone with. You go up behind them and go <laughs> <laughs> Real ones know where that was in a book. <laughs> 